I was asked the following question via my Google Plus circle. Please show how an exclusive OR gate can be made from AND, OR and NOT gates. Here you can see the symbol for a two input exclusive OR gate and we can see it has the inputs A and B and it has the output F. And I'm going to complete the combinations for all A and B as you can see here and we can see that we have all of the possible combinations for A and B. Now I'm going to produce the outputs and we know that the output is a 0 when A and B are the same. We also know that the output is a 1 when A and B are different. So we can see that this is the truth table for an exclusive OR gate, i.e. it defines the function of the exclusive OR gate. You see when the inputs are both 0 the output is a 0. When the inputs are both 1, the output is a 0. When A is a 0 and B is a 1, the output is a 1, i.e. when A and B are different. Here we can see A is a 1 and B is a 0. They're different, so the output is a 1. We now look to the output and look to see whether it is a 1, and we can see it's a 1 here. So what I'm going to do for this particular 1 is to write in this position the input and I'm going to AND them together as A and B. But the A, I'm going to put a NOT above it. Now the reason for that is the A is a 0, as we can see here. Now I now go and look at the next one, and I have a look at the output for this one, the min term for this one it's called, and I write down A and B. But on this occasion, I have a look at the B, and I can see that that's a zero, so I put a NOT above the B. So that becomes A and NOT B. So the output F is a sum of these min terms. So it's the NOT A and the B, and of course this is ORD together with the A and the NOT B. So we can see that what we have here is the Boolean expression for the two input exclusive OR gate. And we got this from the truth table. Of course, we need to know what the truth table is for an exclusive OR gate. But once we know the truth table and we then work on the truth table to produce the min terms, we can then find the sum of min terms. And this sum of min terms is then used to help produce the logic circuit. I've reproduced the sum of min terms here, and what I'm going to do is to look at the first one, and I'm going to write down the A and put this through a NOT gate to give me NOT A, as we can see that's part of the min term. Then I'm going to produce the B input, and I'm going to put the NOT A and the B through an AND gate. And of course, putting this through an AND gate will give up the output, the NOT A, which is one of the inputs, and it with the B. So we can see we have actually produced this particular min term here. We will now look at the next min term, which is this one here, the A and not B. And what we will do, we'll take a tap off the A, and we're going to put that as an input to an AND gate. So here you can see I'm drawing the AND gate, and we're going to have an output. Now I'm going to take a tap off the B, and I'm going to put this through a NOT gate. And of course the output of the NOT gate will be NOT B. So the input to the AND gate is the A and the NOT B, which I show here at the output as A and NOT B. And you can see that this particular min term here has been produced at this point in this particular combinational logic circuit. If we look at this symbol here, we can see it's a symbol for an OR gate. Now it's ORing this min term with this one, and there's the min terms as they appear in the circuit. So what we do, we simply take these min terms, these outputs from the AND gate, and we put them to the input of an OR gate. And we have F, which means we have this expression here. Because what this gate does, it ORs together this min term and this min term here. Because this and this are the inputs to this particular gate, so the inputs are simply ORed together and this reproduces this Boolean expression here. We can see this combinational logic circuit has a NOT gate here. It also has a NOT gate here. It has an AND gate both here and here. And we also have an OR gate, as you can see here. So what we have achieved is the production of an exclusive OR gate using AND, OR and NOT gates. 
therefore answering the question that was actually asked. Can we make an exclusive OR gate using AND, OR and NOT gates? And this is shown, yes you can. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.